It's been a minute, okay? That's that's the important thing here. It's been a bit. Okay. Finally brought back the milk. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Let me drink some cocoa. I love this game. I haven't played it in a long time. Just because, like, I, I don't I don't honestly know. Why am I... Why? Why? Why am I not... Okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> it took me out of full screen for some reason. Okay. I like this game a lot, but I just haven't had... I just haven't played it in a while. But now we're back. Now I I was the absent father, you know? Now I've come back with the milk. See? Like so many, funny how things work that way, right? Okay. Uh I don't know if you know anything about this game, but it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of it. It's a nice game to just like it's a yapping simulator, you know? You just read, talk about whatever the heck they're doing. And yeah. <laughs> I got some like straight cinnamon right now. Ugh. <laughs> I have water actually just in case just in case that happens too. But that's my bad. Anyways, yeah. This is this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, as much as I want to do more like crafts, I guess, that I would normally do. I um kind of I did that for a while. I, I think I'm gonna take a break for like at least a stream, right? At least one break I could use. It might be a little loud actually. I'm gonna turn it down like a tiny bit. A teensy weensy bit. My bad. It's like a little too loud. What is going on? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do at all. Turn this down like that. Maybe like right there about. Yeah. I think it's good. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it is a little loud. My bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I hope I sound nice and crisp now. I sound like it's an entirely different person. Um, you, you know how it is. But, okay. What game is this? <laughs> being a deadbeat? What's going on? I stepped out for a second being a deadbeat. Oh, I see. Um, okay. We're, uh, we're just a bartender, pretty much. The game is just us bartending. Uh, all these cool people are kind of cool, I guess. And yeah, there's some stuff that goes on. I don't know. You could probably piece it together the more we play. You know, I guess that's part of, that's part of the thing, you know? Maybe you could piece together what's going on. There's kind of a lot, but um, right now I think we're good if I remember. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it. It's a yapping simulator. That's all you gotta know. So I'm gonna be going crazy. I'm gonna go freaking crazy doing the thing, and I got a drink just for this exact reason. Mm -mm -mm. It is not. I was gonna say strawberry. It's um peppermint hot chocolate. I wanted to try it because I found it like a little mixture to make it, and I was like, dude. <laughs> yum 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 sucking my fingers a little bit um so yeah okay <clears throat> excuse me excuse me okay good evening and it's like uh, hey jill this is dana our, our boss here how you feeling i won't say good but not that bad i guess that's nice to hear there's guild and you run away again nah i don't know what she said i freaking that sounds weird coming from the owner of the bar Every drink from here would come out of our own funds, so if we're going to spend money, might as well get more variety. Besides, those kind of walks are always good for Gil. You're the boss. Who's coming so far? Well, there's three of us. The dogs who invited, Titty Hacker, Gil invited Jamie, or the Christmas party. Or, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Uh, and I also invited Dorothy, and I called her to spend the night with you. Sounds good so far. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting. The more the merrier. I could, but everyone's made plans by this point. True. I'll be in my office. Call me should anything arise all right i've been listening to the soundtrack actually as well so i can kind of put some of these together like pick some good ones out i think um question is which ones do i really not want let's do here to you put tense in do i have your love is a drug i think i do right yeah i do right there that one's pretty good um out of orbit i'm gonna do that one i like that one i think I think? I don't know, we're changing the freaking, the, what's the word? The freaking, the jukebox. Yeah. It says right there. Uh, let's do, honestly, these are, these are pretty good. <laughs> like, these aren't even bad, actually. Um, yeah, it's about, maybe like, let's see. Um, maybe we get rid of that one, put that one? Yeah. I don't know what that song is. Um, good enough. Cool. Time to mix up drinks and throw time to mix drinks and save lives. 
Wait here, I'll check inside. And welcome to Valhalla. Oh, a BTC bar. Who are you people? Excuse me, do you know where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does, the place me, why does that place mean people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Minotaur Center. Uh, <laughs> awkward, awkward pause. Hold on, let me scribble the directions on paper. Thanks. Over to the right, and you see a building filled with hobos. That should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, what the hell? I'll have a drink. What about you? Ooh. Oh, it's playing your love is a drug right I actually like this one. Uh, Brantini. All right. Just a Brantini. The linen freaks me out. That's kind of messed up. Freaking. Okay. Whatever, man. Uh, Brantini. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One of these and aged. And that's it. One, two, three. Four, five, bam, whoops up, thank you. Okay, here you are, thanks. That's an interesting outfit on this cold season, Miss Vela. I'm actually cosplaying, so call me Vela for the time being. And your little friend is Essentia? I get it, you're cosplaying too? <laughs> nah, that's just what I look like. <laughs> okay, I had a game called, what, Y2K Bartender? A cult classic game that has been seen like three, three remastered versions made by six different companies this year? That one. We're in a cosplay group dedicated to it, and we got lost on the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh yeah, a friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he answer? He'll be fine. Uh, okay. Is something... What? <laughs> what? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm, wearing jeans under a skirt. Huh. No, no, don't spook the bartender. Spook? Character design and yummy? It is. There, you should have seen, like... Ah, uh, there's some characters. They look pretty cool. Like, they're, they're just, like, interesting people, you know? I don't know, there, there, there's some silly people in this one, too. Anything else? I have a fluffy dream to be on my way. And you? I'm fine. So, just a fluffy dream. Okay, Vela asked for a fluffy dream. The Linum still freaks me out. He's kind of messed up. Dude, that's a customer, man. You can, you gotta be nice and respectful. You can, you can be disrespectful after they leave, okay? I'll age and mix. Um, I think we're fine. One, two, three, four, five, bam. Fluffy dream, there you go. Yep, this is a thing. Seriously though, why'd you leave your friend outside like that? <laughs> Kinda messed up. He'll be fine. He started chatting with one of the vending machines. They're talking about R&B music. Your friend prefer the 1980s R&B over the 1970s? I, 1980s, I think. Ah, crap. I don't say bad words. <laughs> Boss, Didi, R&B. I'm coming. Um, you see, Didi is a 90... Wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. Didi is an... Wait, Didi? It's a 1970s purist. He has taste you before even liking 1980s R&B before. He got tased! Sorry. Oh god. He'll be fine. Vending machines have very weak tasers. He'll be confused for a couple of minutes, but that'll be that. Uh, you should go check on him though. Diddy? Diddy? Pete? Oh, no way. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, like, wait. Diddy? Is like, Diddy? I don't know. Let me take a sip. Mm-mm-mm. It's like peppermint. Right. Thanks again for the directions. Please come again. Uh, at least it wasn't Franco Belgian comic opinions this time. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking it. More importantly, though, jeans under a skirt. Walking to Valhalla. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Oh, hi, honey. It's probably you. We can. What's the name? Anna, I think. Oh, never mind. Hi, honey. Are you okay? Erm, um, Diddy. Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I just kind of wandered in here, and I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can Lenin just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, uh, Sugar Rush. Yeah, that. All right. Everything she seems down. She asked for a sugar rush, but she doesn't. Yeah, hasn't she told me a drink that cheers her up? Oh, it's been a bit. I think it was. It's been a minute since I've um, what is it? Since I freaking what's it called? Been here, so I don't quite remember. Um, what is it? Which thing is the right one? I think it's like a piano man, but it might have been something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was something weird. I think it was a piano man, right? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust piano man. <laughs> it's like I don't know what else I'm gonna give her. It's either that or like I think once she ordered a bleeding Jane because she was like that's my time of the month. But like it's like you're a robot, do you get it? And it's like nah, it's just time of the month that I want a bleeding Jane. And it's like all right, buddy. <laughs> uh, whatever. One two three. Wait, two three. One two three four five. Dane. No, yeah, not Dane. Dorothy's kind of a weirdo. Okay. Just get, get that in your head. Um, on the rocks and mix. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Piano man, all for you. Here, thanks. She didn't notice it was the wrong drink. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Hmm. So much silence. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. Turns out I really needed that. Did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find that one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling everyone about that. I did it because I was... It was you who needed my help. But a, a hug night... Hug night? It's usually one of my most expensive services. It is. Yeah, I don't know if the client has body order or something like that. Sure. Not to mention it limits the chances of getting any other client that night. Hmm. Still, did it help? Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. You want to know more about it? You want to tell me more about it? I brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem, then. You were sad, and that's all I needed to know. Thank you, Dorothy. Sorry for the loss, though. I mean it. Thanks. Although I've wondered for a while... I like how we're going through, like, a like, serious, like, conversation, by the way, and this music is, like, kind of going crazy. <laughs> that's, that's the thing in this game. Like, it goes crazy, but it's just like, bro, this is not the time right now. But the songs are bangers, so I'm not too upset. But it's just like, bro, not the time. Let me turn it down a little bit, though. Maybe, like, right here. Nah, I would go up. There you go. I don't want it to be too loud, but like, you know. I think that's good. We just want to have like most of it just be the conversation. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although I've wondered for a while, do you Lilim really understand death? Sort of, kinda. Our whole database is constantly being backed up with a collective source. Uh, even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. Um, so our concept of mortality might be different. We have, we do have fear of death though. Especially in that soundtrack, <laughs> it's crazy. It just doesn't, it just can't read the room. Um, and it doesn't know when to get serious. Nah, but I mean, it's, it's, it, hey, it's kind of a banger though, either way, so. <laughs> I'm happy that it's here, at, at least. You do. Uh, we can't even begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. While we have built in warnings, the mere idea of that nothingness is paralyzing. There's still a few that don't mind it, but we do fear death and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, that was the argument used for abolishing the whole three laws thing. You seem quite knowledgeable about the robot history. Seeing what others have done to make sure I can live like I do helps me not take things for granted. Seriously though, those laws are bullcrap. Crap. Can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them, and you can't protect p yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure, the first AIs were just helpers and tools, but how could those laws still apply to them after they achieve self-awareness? Who in their right mind would abide only by rules inscribed by some old book? If I remember correctly, those were only the distilled versions of the laws some writer imagined over a hundred years ago. They were a reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took to them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, people used to steal and exaggerate what they need and use it for their favor. True, twisting it for their own narrative. Wow, you're a nerd. Okay, man, my bad. Look who's talking. <laughs> they changed the subject to a bit though. Moves getting gloomy. Not the music. Your apartment's very comfy, you know? It's a tad small though, sorry about that. It's cozy. Not small, it's cozy. And your cat is so cute. What was the name again? Four. Why four? I figured if you ever got lost, at least I wanted to be able to yell four. It happened once. You'd be surprised how many golf players you run into. And every time you play with them, you can say it's four play. Uh, thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> this is, he's also named after someone. Really? Who? A little kid that wanted to transcend. What, a movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Awkward. Uh, what? You want anything else? Go the blue fairy. All right. Uh, blue fairy for Dorothy. Should I get her another piano, man? Nah. Uh, one, two, two, three, four. One of these. An optional karma train. I think. I don't know if she's gonna. You know, she's not in the mood, but I don't think I should give her some karma train right now. She's gonna get drunk if I give her some. It is like, nah, I'm good. Uh, all aged and mix. No, that's the wrong thing. I, I accidentally put ice. My bad. My apologies. Okay. One, two, two, three, four. For one of these, and yeah, one, two, let's take a swig as well. Five, here you go. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Man, I haven't had hot cocoa in a long time. It's pretty good. It's been a minute, and um, you know, it's this is a very sweet one. I kind of would like it if it was a little more bitter, but you know, it's grown on me. It's grown. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why do they call it Blue Fairy? Because of Pinocchio. I believe the name is based off abs absinthe. Epstein? I don't freaking know. And they call it the Green Fairy. The first versions of the drink were described as sweeter absinthe. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Sadly, you have to fix the formula because people were turning green, not blue. A bluish green. You seem to have cheered up a bit there. Yeah, talking to you always helps get me get my mind off things. Hey, there's something I've wanted for a while now. What? What kind of friends do you have? That's if you even have friends. They're getting. <laughs> uh, 
I'm being mean to Dorothy. I, I mean, Dorothy's cool, actually. She doesn't deserve that. I mean, uh, are they in your same line of work or friends aside, of, aside from you? Thank you. Well, there's Lawrence, the vending machine. It's a lot of fun to be with. That is a lot of fun to be with. Once you get past his quirkiness, that is, I've also met a lot of nice people working in the streets. On the top of my head, I can think about Nightingale, another Willem. He changed himself to have fur and a more wolf-like face. He's also a pretty good pianist. He plays in a jazz band on the weekends. There's also Nadira, a drag queen and the owner of a club I've been invited to a few times. She has an animal shelter on the side. I help her with it occasionally. Oh, there's also a Sister Clementine, a nun from the orphanage. I go there sometimes and play with the kids. Well, that's something I didn't expect to hear. Peanut, Pia, not Pinar. <laughs> uh, I almost got adopted once. Excuse me. Um, did you say peen? Peanist. Okay. Pianist. Pianist. All right. Speaking, I heard about it in like, I remember in like what, fifth grade, fourth grade or something. Uh, there were I was and I was in a music class once, may way back, and um, I think it was mandatory. Oh, freaking! Ah, ah, I, I get it. No, um, I remember they were telling us like what a piano person is. A someone who plays the piano is a pianist or a pianist. If you say it fast, it sounds kind of funny. And they were like, if you laugh at this, you're gonna get sent to. Uh, I don't know, the office or something. Freaking some weird crap. And it's just like crazy. Peanut. <laughs> okay. I was flattered, but it was weird. Oh, it turns out I already knew your boss. Let me go. She, uh, she what? What? I said too much. Client confidentiality and all that. Ooh. Uh, okay. Enough tangents. Why are you gloomy in the first place? Gloomy? When you came in, I don't know if you're gloomy. I didn't know if gloomy is the right word, but you were pretty quiet at the very least. And knowing how you normally are, Pretty weird. Yeah, normally she announces herself like freaking like guess who it is, you know, some like crap like that. Um, what is it? So this, this is how uh, Dorothy is. This is it is kind of weird to see her like this in this state. Stop chatting for some reason. Erm, it's because I fell asleep. Erm, being a deadbeat dad, that is hard work. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Uh, I mean that uh, that's okay. If we can do what you gotta do, you know. People come and go. I don't mind it. It's just like literally just. As long as you're just enjoying yourself, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. But it's not on purpose. Hey, man. I'm sure I wasn't on purpose, but here I am. <laughs> so don't worry about it. What's going on out there? But nah, if you fall asleep, whatever. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Literally. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. But, wait, let's keep going. Let's keep keep the momentum. I'm trying not to like get on tangents too much. But at the same time, there's just a lot going on, you know? All right. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. Just had one too many things going on in my mind. I wasn't gloomy or anything. More like distracted, really. So I think I'll go now. Thanks for letting me in here, honey. My boss told me or told you about the party tomorrow, right? Yep. I wouldn't dare to miss that. Okay then. All right then. See you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks. And that's that. Okay. I'll be taking my break. Cool. And here we are. Dorothy's down there. <laughs> Bam. I think we did the right thing as well. Um. Like when we gave her the freaking what's it called? When we gave her the piano man instead of the wh what was she ordered? Like a she ordered like a some, something weird. So it's like I'm I hope it was that was the right choice. Yummy yeah, yeah, Mike is soothing me to sleep like Markiplier. <laughs> freaking hello everybody. My name is Markiplier. Today we're gonna be playing Five Nights at Freddy's, a game that if you, I forgot how it goes, but it's like a, a Yummy match that was apparently really really good. Some crap like that. <laughs> I mean, hey, I got the mic. I added. I made it better. And I freaking whatever, you know? Clipping that, thank you. <laughs> Back, did I miss something? Unless you count the worst PPP main event fight I've seen all year. No. Wait a second, it's talking about a main event fight? Wasn't there literally just a main event fight like yesterday? Freaking Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh my, what is up with this? Like this freaking game and coincidences. Crazy. Um, That was yesterday, right? I think that was yesterday. Freaking whatever, man. We're not going to talk about freaking Mike Tyson and what's his name. Mm -mm -mm. All I'm saying is, where was all that training? Where did all that training go? We saw that. We saw what he was capable of. Oh, whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> going out? I uh, have a word with Gogo outside. Uh, he was hyped for the match. He must be devastated. Okay. Isn't that the homeless guy? Uh, oh, hi, Say. Oh, it's you. Hi. Good evening, Joe. How you doing? Uh, the nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. <laughs> Oh, I, I, <laughs> how are your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed and the scars itch a bit though. 
I mean, better. It's good to hear. Are you here by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple errands by myself today, but I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Sally doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she's just taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Something cold for a sec. Um, I mean, try just anything on the rocks, right? Right. Excuse me. Um, something on the rocks, probably. Anything on the rocks, I probably. Sunshine Cloud, I'll get her a Sunshine Cloud. She needs a Sunshine Cloud right now. She's freaking healing. I don't, I shouldn't give her Karma Train though, because that's probably not a good idea. Um, just on the rocks, bam. And mixed. One, two, three, four, and five, bam. Huh? Two, two, on the rocks. Oh, and blended. Oh, I try to serve it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Um, bam. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sun clap. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, did it do the link thing? Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Um, it's because I'm, I'm sure you know. Like a lot of times, it's like, oh, Santa's been, or what is it? You've been on the nice list this year. Santa's going to give you 10 free viewers or something like that. But yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's why, but freaking. <laughs> it's always like Santa or like some weird crap. You got a discount of a 20 million viewers. And it's like, man, get out of here. So, um, I don't worry about it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do anything. It's just like there, like a, Hey, <laughs> it's mostly just for me to look at it and to be like, Oh, you know, check it. But you know, I'll probably change it up later on. It's just there right now. Just, you know, okay. Sorry. I'm adjusting myself. I'm crisscross applesauce. Okay. <clears throat> this is the one. Yeah. Uh, why drink something cold when the weather outside is so cold too? It's not that cold. Actually. I've been, I mean, you're not even wearing a sweater. I've always had decent tolerance for the cold, but I'm not, so I'm not a good reference. So Stella isn't with you today. She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow as well. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that, I can't really say no to Stella. <laughs> Maybe next time. If there is a next time. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Oh, uh, don't feel bad, man. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers in our honor. <laughs> I will then. Uh, what are Stella's Christmas parties like? Why? Oh, she's like rich. Yeah, they're really big. Lots of food, drinks, and music. Sometimes it's too much food though. At the end of the party, she le she lets the staff take home whatever's left. I mean, yeah. She also buys toys for all the children and her staff members. That's nice. She also she says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have been even started calling her Auntie Stella. Auntie Ella. Stella's always done her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party she's most, she most likely celebrates it big. I respect that. Stella, you're awesome. Interesting. <clears throat> you like parties, Jill? I mean, I don't, I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend though. I just, nah, I don't mind going to them. That's it. I only do go to parties that Stella is attending because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. <laughs> And that, and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? You're not. I'm a tad too ripped. They don't look cute on me. Damn. Freaking first world problems. Uh, although, with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too uh, breezy, too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. I bet you look good in dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one. I don't know. Last time I wore one, I remember wearing my arms are too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot about her bust size. <laughs> really? She's not that small, I think. I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger... Okay. All right, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> That's some good hot chocolate. Although, I guess comparisons are useless here. They, they barely... They rarely help with complexes. Yeah. She goes the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I've seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. That's why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um, drills. They look a bit drilly, don't they? <laughs> she styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems affluent though. Enough. Why not go through a reduction surgery? Because she also kind of likes having that size. 
She makes a bus size after her mom. Or she takes after her mom. And Miss Carmen is quite proud of her chest. Pumping out your chest is a sign of confidence. And a bigger chest means more confidence to show. She says something along those lines a lot. Well, that's quite the admiration for her mom. So I guess breast reduction would feel like betraying her. Hmm. Making it sound like she's hiding J-cups or something like that. I guess in a taller or thicker person, that's her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter for, or thinner than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your chest? <laughs> bust size? Yeah. Okay. Not really. I've been more self-conscious about my height. Although it usually comes to whenever it comes up whenever I'm not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no. It's not my bust size, but rather I look too manly sometimes. I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs are help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Uh, can I get you anything else? Hmm. You have something non-alcoholic. I do, give me a sec. Non-alcoholic, per se. Uh, just anything without car machine, right? So I can go with... What? A uh, piano woman? No, that, that's alcohol. Honestly, I could just give her another sunshine club, right? Uh, let's see. Sugar Rush. I don't want to give you a sugar rush. I don't think you'd like a sugar rush that much. Um, let's see. Sparkle Star? Hmm. Maybe it's Sparkle Star, actually. It's like a couple bucks. Nah, you can afford more. <laughs> Blue Fairy. Uh, one, two, three, four. One of these. All aged and mixed. I don't know if you'd... Okay, maybe not. My bad. I'm wasting. I'm wasting materials here. But uh, I don't know. Freaking. This is non-alcoholic. So does it really matter? These are too alcoholic. You know what? Uh, bubbly. Fringe weaver. Oof. Maybe not that one. <laughs> that one has nine carbonine, dude. That's like all alcohol. I get you a sparkle story. Whatever. Uh, one of these and all Asian mix. That's it. Cool. One, two, three. Four and five, bam, sparkle star for you. Here you go. Thanks. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? Nah. It makes you feel sleepier at the very least. Makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about being drunk. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb. Everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> Usually people like feeling numb because the numbness helps them forget their problem. Mm. Take some water. Too much sugar. Oh, cocoa. Excuse me. Uh, even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when dr drunk or high. It doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Um, despair and pain cloud your judgment and make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. The world has an ugly side no one deserves to be a part of. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> it's also a matter of addiction, you know? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about this? We're gonna, we're gonna freaking go down this? Um, you start just liking the drink, then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Hey, that's it. But tell me, what kind of- oh, never mind. What kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a bunch of regulars. A couple of regulars. They bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's about it. That sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Ooh, I say. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna check one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now with the White Knights disbanded and all? Ugh. To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured, if you can go with plan B, why not just make it a plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. Really? I can go for the position with the police, but I want to be as thrilling. And I'm tired of the blatant correction. Sick of it. In the thick of it. But I'm alive. I think I skipped something on accident. Hmm. I learned something after the hell in Apollo Trust. Life's not something you, you can just throw away easily. Calling my way out of that place made me realize how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. And I'll figure, out, figure it out sooner or later. Later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Good. Bye-bye. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Thank you. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Ah, oh, hey there, girl. <laughs> Give me a strong drink. Ooh. Something manly and strong, huh? I'll give you a, a big manly drink. A gut punch. One, two, three, four, five, one. I don't know if you want strong as an alcohol or strong as in flavor. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one. I'll give you some of those. All Asian mix. I'll give you a big one. <laughs> That's what you deserve, Mr. Detective. Gut punch, a big one. Yes, those will do. Who brought you here? Mm -mm -mm. There you go. 
No brought you here. Nothing special. I was just working on a case and I happen to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl? Crimson something. I am tracking that girl. Did you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money and well, I just couldn't refuse. Well, that's your life, not mine. I wonder though. There has to be more than that whole thing than just acting as a middleman to look for some murderer. There has to be more to the whole thing. Okay. Uh, hmm. So how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws. The walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't give less of a crap about telling info to anyone. Okay then. Wait, soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, the bastards. It'd be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Cause, okay, he said gun for hire. I'm thinking he's talking about, what's his name? G uh, Gil's friend. I forgot his name. He's like the, the guy with the like eye. I don't know, we might see him. Have we heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Never mind then. I don't think it's him. Nope. It's a big name from Kanye Vania. Kanye? Uh, his blood's... <laughs> okay, it's so stupid. His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Gliss City's nanomachine. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But it's, if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nanomachines will in initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using this as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction. If it, it could be used to fight nanomachine rejection. Uh-huh. Well, it turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here and hasn't he hasn't seen her since. He could be lying, you know? I doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. Uh, why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract and tracking all the messages to their stores would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? What about a uh, Cobalt Velvet? Okay. A uh, Cobalt Velvet for Mr. Detective here. Cool. One, two... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five on the rocks and mixed. You like your drink on the rocks, Walt? You can come off of it. You are. Oh, you actually did it. <laughs> what? Uh, were you expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? No. <laughs> no. Oh. What made you accept the contract anyway? Keep it in mind all the rest you told me last time. Tell me you wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least, deliver her a message. He couldn't have been. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. Blah, blah, blah. Even then, I feel like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her and not knowing what she's doing, even if she's alright. You do. I have a daughter. She's about your age. When she was a change, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first, I waited for her to show up, but then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any traces of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon, I wish I, I, I was worried if something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. I finally found her taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So, yeah. I just can say no to his quest of finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. Huh. So how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. I guess pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to the her from before and the wait what? Compared to the her from before the bank incident though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to del deliver to her. I don't know what it says and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I it might not look like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. Ah I missed something. Whatever. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, you better go back to work before her trail gets cold. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then. I want you here tomorrow by 8 p.m. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dress in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. All right. Where's Gil, by the way? He sorted all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Oh, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on. Wait a bit. I'll go with you. Oh, sure. Thanks. Cool. Flawless service bonus. I know a small party is what you needed. Thank you for that money. Merry Mega Christmas. Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the Mega Santa and save Christmas from the Redmonds. Happy birthday. Happy holidays. A party then. I bring you luck, though. We can't. Uh, is there, there's a Mega Christmas tree I got, right? I think I already got it. Yeah, I did. Um. I don't know. Uh, me ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Um. Uh, I get a cute playhouse. That'd be fun. Cause I think I need to save a four right now, so we're just kind of, we're just, we're just treating ourselves. Oh, I gotta hold it, my bad. I was trying to swipe it like it was a real phone. Nothing new here. Grand Slam Fighters. Is anyone into wrestling here? A huge fan of GSF, Grand Slam Fighters. Yeah, we, no, there's nothing new here. It's all augmented eye. Lilim receiving weird messages. <clears throat> I think this is the one where like, they kind of recorded it for a little bit and it was weird. Uh, no, I know. There's... It's different, right? Yeah. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything's normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Linlum? Either way, some reports indicate that Linlum behavior has been rather unusual as of late. 
Although we can't only we can only imagine confusion when they're going through. Um, let's not forget that, not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when Lilo and Ransom was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came of it. Will it happen again? I will tell. And spooky? A bit, yeah. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? Oh. Okay. Um, the ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. Uh the King of the West, Khan J from the Western um nation of Kanye Velia. Mania, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers. All of them look like the hottest girls around. But is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? The dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do what they want. They don't give a crap. Marina Zimmer, 35, told the augmented eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing? We can just make them from scratch and match it every, ugh, every need. I'm pretty sure Connie Velia went through demilitarization before. Anivania. I keep saying Velia. I don't know why. Um, what did you say? Did you say erection? No, I didn't say erection. You can. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. <clears throat> that went down weird. Yoro Yori is the best show of the season. Now, if you weren't a fan of Yuri or size of life shows already, then be prepared to join the Mo Moe church this season with the premiere of Yoro Yori, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals in the popular Danger You forum seem divided, however. It is such an this is such an obvious pandering. Remember, an anime was about women doing womenly things and beating the crap out of each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who live who hate their lives. I'm gonna marry Sheena Sue. Uh, wake me up inside. You can catch YY every Friday on RSTV. Wanna watch it? Animes for nerds! <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, it's Mega Christmas. It's it's Mickey. Um, it's not Miku, it's Miki. I'm way too used to Christmas. I'm way yeah. But the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name and the holiday isn't any less crazy due to its origin, but I find it amazing that how GC managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they outright changed the holiday. Well, it's not that different considering they have the same dates, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, I gotta go. Time to sign some books. Um, dream person? Oh wait, um, we already read that. Was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? Don't know, don't care. Okay. And then Nano Camo. Oh yeah, we were supposed to change the background. Let's do... Uh, let's do a cool one. We have enough for rent, we have enough for pretty much everything. So let's do... That one's 10k? I don't... We don't even have that much. I like this one though. Oh my goodness. That's kind of cool. Okay, uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Fatal error? What? Um. Okay. I think my game just crashed. Okay, nice. I crashed the game with the nano camera. It freaking just blew up. Um. Okay.